Hello. In this tutorial, we are going to teach you, how you can pass local storage value from one website to another. This is our destination website where we will send the local storage value. We will be sending name. Right now it does not have the name in local storage. And the website from where we will send the value is source. Local storage is not accessible even within subdomains. So if I set the value in one subdomain. It will not be accessible in other subdomain. To share the local storage value between websites, first we need to create iframe tag in source website. The value of source attribute will be the path of destination website. And we will hide this iframe so it will not be visible in source website. Then we will create a script tag. And call a function that will be called when the page is loaded. You can also call it on any function you want, for example, when user is logged in, you want to share user's authentication token to another website. Then you can write this code inside your login function, but for the sake of simplicity, we are calling it inside the page load function. First, we will get the iframe DOM object. Then we will get the iframe content window. Then we will set the data that needs to be sent. And we will call post message function from the iframe content window object. The second parameter of post message will be asterisk in double quotes which means there is no preference in target origin. Save this file. Now we will come to the destination website. Create a script tag. Here we will attach a listener that will be called when the message is received. Second parameter will be a function and it will have an argument event. First we will check if the origin of message is our source website, because otherwise, any other website can also send post messages as well. If the origin of message is not from our source website, then we will do nothing and stop the function. Otherwise, we will first parse the data from JSON string to JavaScript object. Then we will check if the message has name field. If it has, then we will set it in destination website's local storage. Also, we will log the message that will be displayed in source website's console tab. Save the destination website. And refresh the source website. The name is set, and this message came from destination website. Now check in destination website. So the local storage value has been set in destination website and its value is same as sent from source website. Now you can use this value in destination website in any way you like. 